Nowhere is truly safe in terms of robberies, bandits, killers. But there are a few places in the world that go up and beyond the normal levels of danger. Let us show you the top 10 most dangerous places to live around the world. So let's get into it. Number 10. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil An expat from New Zealand imagines that there is a basic inclination of individuals continually living in dread. A German expat whines that the elevated level of disparity and ruthlessness in the public arena is upsetting and causes me to feel awkward. Political mayhem has created heaps of turmoil and uneasiness in my working environment. The most widely recognized types of wrongdoing in Rio influencing sightseers are pickpockets and road muggings. Before the security hazard was higher than it is today, the police insurance has improved altogether in the Zona Sul, Cobacobana, Ipanema, Leblon, Lagoa, Jardim Botanico, and Barada Tijuca over the most recent two years. Today, despite the fact that the probability of encountering wrongdoing in Rio has lessened, it actually exists. It must be said that a significant part of the wrongdoing that happens is deft wrongdoing, implying that hoodlums center more on those they believe are simple or high esteem targets. For instance, the old, somebody strolling alone around evening time or somebody wearing loads of gems. Guests can extraordinarily limit their danger by observing a couple of realistic standards. Attempt to go in a gathering ideally with neighborhood companions around evening time. Try not to stroll on the roads alone. Number 9. Cape Town, South Africa A British expat expresses, My life is simpler here, yet I feel as though I am living in an air pocket. I miss the opportunity to walk or ride any place whenever, and I disdain agonizing over my security. A Belgian expat grumbles about the unsure political circumstance, prejudice, debasement, and horror rate, just as the shortcomings of the rand. South Africa's score is at chances with the worldwide normal, which was 82 of every 2019. The study found that a great many people around the world stayed positive about their nearby police and had a sense of security in their networks, as per Gallup. Overall, almost 7 of every 10 individuals, or 69%, had a sense of security while strolling alone around evening time and believed in their nearby police. Number 8. Lagos, Nigeria a Hungarian expat states, we are not actually free, can't stroll in the city, and can't blend with the Nigerians. There is consistently the chance of peril. A Rwandan expat grumbles about the sensation of vulnerability. Nearly anything can and may happen to me. Whenever, any place, Nigeria was positioned as the 10th most risky nation for ladies with basic freedoms, bunchers blaming the nature's military for torment, and executing regular citizens during its nine-year battle against Islamist insurrection Boko Haram. The contention has slaughtered in excess of 30,000 individuals and has brought forth one of the world's most exceedingly awful helpful emergencies. Number 7. Rosario, Argentina A Lithuanian expat feels that it isn't protected here and the individuals are not neighborly. A US expat gripes, you can't design monetarily in light of the fact that the economy vacillates over and over again. You're a long way from all over the place. Well-being is a significant concern. Thieves ransack vacationers while an associate professors to help eliminate pureed tomatoes or mustard that has been coincidentally showered on them. More clear criminals will basically cut the satchel of explorers in swamped or public places. For example, bistros, on the metro framework, and on train and transport stations. One trick works by tempting an explorer into a visteria, with a flyer for a shopping markdown or free show. Once inside, the voyager isn't permitted to leave until they consent to pay an over-the-top sum for a beverage. Number 6. Mumbai, India An Australian expat dislikes how the assumptions about foreign women being easy make it unsafe to do so many things alone, as well as the hardline politics, the social tensions, and the very bad pollution. A Canadian expat reports how she constantly feels like an outsider. People stare at me, take my photo, talk to me horribly, and try to cheat me, etc., because they assume that I am a rich tourist. I also have faced severe sexual harassment from local men, to the point that I now carry pepper spray everywhere. The expats also rated negatively on the question of political stability in India, almost double the global average, 32% versus 17% worldwide rate the political stability of the country negatively, 
and Australian expat shares that politics has become hardline and there are social tensions, the survey found. Number 5. Lima, Peru. A Spanish expat whines that it is difficult to make companions among the nearby inhabitants. They likewise have a forceful demeanor in the city. A Venezuelan expat lords, the abuse of ladies, the helpless working conditions, and the overall absence of basic kindness. For those studied, generally 30.4% accepted that wrongdoing is the most concerning issue in the nation. This doesn't imply that Peru is the second most savage nation in the Americas. Nonetheless, the wrongdoings that are on the ascent are predominantly peaceful, with the most pervasive being the unarmed theft of telephones and wallets in the city. 33% of Peruvians addressed had encountered some sort of wrongdoing over the most recent year, which is a genuinely huge ascent from 28% in 2012, yet additionally fails to measure up to the 40.5% of Venezuelans who had been casualties of wrongdoing in the most recent year. Additionally, 27.6% of the wrongdoings experienced in Peru were peaceful burglaries. Number 4. Nairobi, Kenya. A Danish expat gripes that I can't stroll on the road since it's undependable. I need to drive or be driven all over. A Croatian expat aberrances how outsiders are frequently exploited through taking, misleading, and police halting you just to bring in cash from you. The streets are dreadful, traffic is simply horrendous, and the city is messy. Be particularly cautious when eating meat in Kenya. Here and there, the nature of meat or different fixings utilized in nearby dishes disagrees with guests' stomach. Following a couple of days in Kenya, your belly will change. Try not to eat crude nourishments, for example, servings of mixed greens or organic products that can't be stripped. Continuously choose all-around prepared dinners, and there are a lot of tasty prepared suppers to attempt, from rice dishes to samosas and bean stews. The danger of getting explorers the runs is greater in spots where disinfection and cleanliness guidelines are poor. On the off chance that you start to feel much else genuine than a slight instance of the runs and an uncomfortable stomach, locate a nearby specialist. Try not to release explorers loose bubbles untreated. Try not to drink faucet water, except if it had been bubbled or filtered. Convey a reusable water container and filtration tablets or a water channel bottle, for example, the Grail water jug and keep it bested up with filtered water to try not to purchase filtered water. Number 3. Donetsk, Ukraine. A Bulgarian expat whines about defilement, a complete absence of dedication or trustworthiness, and outsiders being considered strolling wallets. A US expat imagines that the laws don't work, there is defilement on each level. You don't have to travel extremely long in Ukraine to understand that it has probably the most dangerous driving conditions in Europe. The nation's blend of dreary, potholed streets and regularly moronically forceful driving style and the helpless condition of many safety beltless vehicles are a deadly mixed drink without a doubt. In an offer to stop the go and invigorate in any event, an essential intuition for self-protection in neighborhood drivers, Ukrainian TV channels broadcast every day and week after week programs including dashcam film of terrible street mishaps, the majority of which are brought up by stunning idiocy as well as inebriation. Number 2. Sin Sin, Turkey. A Sri Lankan expat grumbles how being a minority is testing, particularly in the edges of the capital. You get badgering. A British expat disdains the consistent governmental issues and purposeful publicity that is partitioning the general public. Individuals are terrified to talk or pass an assessment. Pickpocketing and burglary are normal in the bigger urban communities where you need to keep your eyes on your things in huge groups. Visa burglary can be an issue, so as opposed to conveying your actual identification, keep it safe and secured safely back at your convenience and rather convey a duplicate of your visa when you're making the rounds. Try not to venture out to the perilous line territories with Syria, as seizing by the psychological oppressor bunches in the zone is a danger to voyagers. Be ready and mindful, and keep awake to date with neighborhood news reports if there is respectful turmoil. Dodge fights or showings, never go close to the groups. In the urban areas, men going without help from anyone else ought to be careful about excessively amissable, fashionable, youthful Turks hoping to take them making the rounds. Men appearing to be companions or ladies hoping to tease could drop the line. I know this incredible club, and on the off chance that you oblige them, the club is an obscure spot, 
and you get thumped. Your wallet was taken and every one of your assets taken. Number 1. Medellin, Colombia a Canadian expat grumbles about the government issues and instability of things to come concerning the chance of political change. The traffic is terrible as well and the crime percentage takes some becoming accustomed to. The news here is practically all negative. A Venezuelan expat detests the defilement. The framework is unreasonable to the two locals and expats and nearby organizations are not all that open to outsiders. The harsher neighborhoods in Medellin incorporate Comuna 13, San Javier, El Centro and Santo Domingo. Packs actually exist and are regional. They don't need anybody counting lost outsiders attacking their turf. Cali has its extreme segments as well. These incorporate the slope Silo area and essentially the whole eastern part of the city. A significant part of the Pacific Coast region around the port city of Buenoventura is very country and no spot you would need to live. Each city in Colombia has its great and not all their great zones. Explore the city and converse with expats who live there to help you figure out which zones are the most secure. As in basically any city on the planet, unlawful medications do exist in numerous pieces of Colombia. Cocaine is still unlawfully developed and traded to nations worldwide, including the US and Canada. It isn't clear in the vast majority of the nation, thus if you're not searching for it, you won't discover it. Clinical utilization of cannabis is legitimate and few organizations are authorized to develop and sell it. Colombia has a worldwide discussion for restorative Mary Jane, which incorporates scholarly and clinical introductions just as a seller's region for oils, shampoos and different items containing cannabis. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you liked this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.